RBS Busy Research Academy welcomes to you in the lecture number 5 which is completely a theoretical uh, lecture. Uh, in this lecture I am uh, I have discussed about uh, how to understand the concept of the independent sample D test in Jamui. Uh, in this lecture further I have discussed the definition of the independent sample D test uh, when you are going to apply uh, apply this test on your data whatever of the different uh, parameters you are required to meet and what are the alternative tests if your data is not meeting those parameters so it is going to be a wonderful video uh, now let us start this video but before this one my name is dr rahimak sumbro and i'm from shabuti university pakistan so here independent sample t-test its introduction you're looking here independent sample t-test compare the mean of the two independent groups. So that means that when the two independent groups are there, basically this test, what is doing, it is comparing the means of the two independent groups. Uh, it does not determine whether the statistical evidence that the associated population are significantly different. That means that either statistically we are going to make it sure that the, either the, in, the means of the two independent groups are significant, significantly different from each other or not. Uh, now this is all about the uh, definition of the this test and then further this test is we call is a parametric test. Uh, dear friends, there is a two uh, there is a group of the tests. One is a parametric test, and others are and other group is a non-parametric test. So parametric tests are those type of the tests which uh, fulfill all the parameters of the uh, test uh, before applying it. So there are the different uh, parameters are there. Like for this test, there are eight parameters are there. In the in another slide, I have discussed about the these. Eight parameters are there which must be fulfilled before applying the independent sample t test. So now, because this independent sample t test is a parametric test, alternatively, if it is not a parametric, if your data is not parametric, then the other tests are also there. In the coming slide, I have also discussed about the alternative of the independent sample t test. So now, some examples are there. For example when you want to compare the average of the test score of the two classes from the two different schools or if you want to com uh, compare the average weight of the two different or uh, independent groups of the people or if you want to determine the whether the medication has a safe efficacy on two different or uh, independent groups or not and, and lastly compare whether the effect of vaccination on two groups is a different uh, from each other or not so these are some of the examples of the independent parametric test so these are some other names of the same this test are normally people also call is a student t test unpaired t test unrelated t test independent t test two sample t test uncorrelated correlated scores t test independent myers t test and the independent two sample test but the it's a much more familiar this test uh, is the with the name of the independent sample t test so these are some other names are there so in this test basically two variables are involved one is a dependent variable alternative we call it as a test variable and other one is an independent variable and alternatively we can call it as a grouping variable now sample details common uses are there so where you can apply or in which cases you can apply independent sample t test now for example if you want to measure the statistical difference between the two groups or uh, statistical difference between the means of the two intervention or uh, statistical difference between the means of the two changes score so these are the different conditions are there where normally you can apply this test note the independent sample t test can only compare the means of the two only two groups that means whenever there are the two groups now this ten test you can apply if there are the more than two groups like the three four then other tests you are required to apply it cannot make comparison among the more than two groups because wherever you are apply this test in the jamovi jamovi always provide the two options only one for the Dependent are test variable and others for the independent variable or grouping variable. No other column. So that's why it's not possible to apply the independent t sample t test when you have the two more than two groups. Uh, if you wish to compare the means score, it means across the uh, more than two groups, then you can apply the ANOVA. Okay. And then uh, here, 
data requirements. So now when you uh, means, uh, when you are, when you are going to apply the in the very simple details, you are required to uh, they will have a data. So what are the data requirements? So now first one is a dependent variable. So these are the parameters which you should fulfill all these one. Uh, there is a continuous interval or ratio scale. Now I assume that you know that is that uh, you are familiar with the continuous variable or interval or ratio uh, labels. Now I, I assume that you are uh, well familiar with these ones. Independent variables are is a categorical variable and has only two categories: right? yes or no, male or female, true or false. There should be only two categories. Cases that have both uh, dependent and independent variables and then independent sample groups. That means that the sample groups should be independent from each other. So that's why we call it is an independent sample test. So a sample should be independent of from the each other. How? The, like the subject in the first group cannot cannot also be in the second group first and then no subject in either group can influence in any way on the subject of the other group and no group can influence on the other group so that's why if there is any relation if there is an influence of the one subject on other subject so now the data are not uh, independent but actually they are dependent so in this case this data this technique cannot be applied and then lastly, uh, violation of this assumption can yield an inaccurate uh, p-value. Dear friends, software has to serve you. Whatever data which will provide to software, software has to provide the results. So now if your data is clean and clear and there is no any issue in your data, the definitely the results will be accurate. Otherwise, the results will be inaccurate. And then other requirements are there. Random sample should data data should be uh, like the pop, uh, uh, randomly collected from the population. And normal distribution is like the approximate dependent variable for each group. Non-normal population distribution, especially those days, are thick tails. Okay, in any way, a left or right, if the tail is a thick or humanly skewed. Much more skewness is there. You are looking here in this one. Now there's the data. Uh, now there are two graphs. One is a highly uh, like the left is skewed and the right is skewed. If the data is uh, highly skewed, like either on the left or right, but in the both cases, it's not a good. This type of data is not good for this time. Uh, uh, like the uh, uh, independent sample t test because this uh, independent sample test uh, assumes that the data is normally distributed. Are the bell shape uh, data is there among the moderate uh, are large sample the variation of normality may still yield uh, the accurate p value if your sample size is moderate or uh, they, they moderate means like if it is more than the 100 or uh, if it is the more than 200 are uh, always considered as a large sample if your data uh, like the uh, observations are more than 200 if this is the case okay then this somehow somehow you can avoid uh, uh, this like the requirement that the, if the data is now normal even no problem but it the, the word has been used may so that's why so it is better that the data should be normally dis distributed and homogeneity of the variance will approximately equ uh, equal across the group so i again assume that the, you can you also know about the homogeneity of the variance and last uh, last but not the least there should not be any outlier in your data so for this book, it is better to apply some of the QQ plot to know either there is an outlier in your data or not. Some of the other tests are there through which you can know either your data is normally distributed or not. Even though you can apply uh, like the graph, like through which skewness, you can check its skewness. Now, if they start skewness, if there is no high, high skewness, then okay, you can apply this test. And then uh, basically, uh, always there are the two types of the uh, hypothesis. One is a Independent sample. One is a H naught, where we we uh, we assume that the population two means are equal. Yeah, you're looking here. This sign is equal. This one is equal to this one. And other H naught are alternative hypothesis, which, which means that the population means are not equal. That means this one is not equal. This sign is showing the uh, the this one is not equal to this one. So okay, if this is the this type of the hypothesis are there, then you can apply independent sample t test other in other cases the difference between the two population mean is equal to zero or the difference between the uh, two population mean is not equal to zero okay so when you open the jamui in 
uh, like the, for applying the in dividend sample details you will uh, you will uh, see this type of the interface over there so these are my uh, variables are there on which i'm going to work out and then these are test instrument details now this is an independent sample details alternatively two other tests are also there we can apply wedge test and the man vitamin test man vitamin test you can apply when your data is non-normal or non-parametric data hypothesis are there so the according to the formulation of your hypothesis, you can check the uh, you can select the these are now for example your hypothesis is a Group number one is not equal to group number two, then group number one is higher than group two, then you can check this one. Group number one is less than two, then you can check this one. Missing values, if there is a missing value in your uh, cases are like that, you can exclude all these one. Okay, and then this is a grouping variable. How for example here the gender and the university is a grouping variable. I have to move the either one. Uh, from these two one over here and interpret intention is my dependent variable so now you're looking here there are only two columns are there so that's why independent separate details can only be applied when you have the uh, only two type of the variables over there additionally any strategy you can also apply like the mean different like if you uh, select it it will tell you either that is the significant or not at the level of the 95 percent confident interval if a size is there descriptive if you want to have you can also uh, compute descriptives and descriptive plots you can also assumption if you want to check then the homogeneity test is there normality test is there and qq plots are there so now if you compare okay you can also apply uh, uh, imply the independent sample details into the species but you will not find this above the much more uh, like the statistic or addition test which are uh, up, which you can apply in the jammu process from this point of view jammu is much more uh, we can say that the advanced than the species okay so now when you talk about the man Whitney test it is a uh, used to compare the difference between the two independent groups uh, when the dependent variable either ordinal or continuous okay so now both tests are exactly same in dividend sample t test and man vitamin test both are same there's no only difference but the difference only between these two one is that the man vitamin test you can use when your data is non normally distributed okay so now these are the examples of the ordinal uh your scale like this uh, five point legal scale seven point two these are ordinal such order is there and the continuous data is like the height of the person speed of a vehicle and then wells test for unequal variance this is also called wells test and the uh, unequal variance test is a modification of the student t test to see if the sample means are significantly different so this is a modification actually these both are same but somehow this test has been modified okay especially include the wells teeth when you are applying the same independent sample t test you can also have the result of the wells T test your as you're looking here in the image and then you know about the ordinal and continuous so now when to be when we talk about the reporting it is it's very easy in the uh, uh to report there is jamu results like the if normally there are two groups now for example we have the n anastasia group and another is a uh, Bernadette group so then this one the group one this one is a group two when we talk about the group one class so mean grade of this one was the 74.5 percent strength division was nine where the mean in the uh, group b class was 69.1 it means the difference between the 74 and st1 is a 5.4 percent now here the strength division is a 5.8 now uh, we can report this one that the student independent sample t test showed that the this difference, this 5.4, the difference between the 60, uh, 74 and 61 is different, uh, significant, much significant, significant at the level of the 95% confidence interval. You're looking here that the P is a less than 0.5. That's why we can say that the, this is the result is a significant and which suggests that the, uh, that the genuine difference in learning outcome has occurred. So that means we have to accept the uh, null hypothesis and we have to reject the alternate hypothesis and then we can also say that the equal variance is not assumed okay because both are not equal to each other so that's why equal variance is not assumed so uh, if you want to have a free uh, text or uh, stuff 
and this software then this only book is available which is free of the cost and you can also download from the google free of the cost there's no only uh which you have to expend spend any money over there alternatively i also left that uh, one link uh, uh, below this video from where you can also download this book at the end thank you very much for watching this uh, uh video completely i hope you like this video if you like this video please uh, subscribe my channel like it like this video and leave a comment on this video thank you very much